Ooh, that's nice. Crit stack. Nice. With Twisted Fate. Uh, Ultimate Paragon. For each alley, that's worthless to me. What goes around is nice. I'm going to use the fuck out of Rejuvenation. Extra armor, firepower, and anomaly power. Whenever I presume I'm fully healed. That's nice. That's easy for me to also achieve. I can achieve that multiple times in a row. Um. I think that's the zone. Putrefying Quagmire. Huh. No, it's not. I was thinking that was where I got the sap, but it isn't. Okay, I can't go down into here. There's no quests, and the access point is not cooperative. Clearly, this rope is the way down, but it's not way down in me. Oh wait, I ran away from the where I'm meant to be going. Really? I hate the inability to jump off points. I missed that thing inside the wanted area. I might be able to get it now. Nope. Can return. So, let's just leave. I think I might be able to go back once I've dropped everything. 
Well, sorry, once I've uh, turned it in or once I've done all of them, but fuck if I know. Oh, damn it, here's a new one. visions. Are they real? Her and her fucking visions. You know, I have visions all the time, too. I have visions of whores sucking my Long John Silver, but it never happens. Shut up. Could be a case if he doesn't want to believe it's true, because then you know, maybe he could have done something. Pacifists, cowards, traitors, and explorers. All of them find safe haven in this camp, kept alive by Dr. Sorok's cure. Hidden from the eyes of the Enclave, Sorok's laboratory grants that there is life far from bloody war, but at what cost? After Grand Marshal Corrigan forfeited his jurisdiction over the region, though quarries fall to monsters and insurgents. Read carefully, this place still holds some ugly surprises. Again, it's not anywhere I can teleport to. Got to fight our way through to this all over again. Presumably, more mooks have run right on in. At least I'm scarier this time. Sure, they might be, but as well, but wow, well, just hoping I'm scarier. Come on. Oh, nice. Oh, 
talk. Never exactly thanked you for pulling me out of cryo. I wasn't convinced you felt I had done you a favor. Well, I guess I prefer being conscious, regardless of the circumstances. Not everyone would agree. But you do seem particularly well suited to these times, Outrider. What exactly were you and Jane doing out there anyway when you found me? Scavenging tech in the old ruins. I honestly thought I'd scoured half the planet, but I had recently found an old notebook of my father's. In it, he described those first months on the floor as floating over Enoch. How the landing had been delayed, and the anxiety about sending the Outriders down. Anxiety? What do you mean? Outriders are always meant to go down first. Yes, but if, as it turned out, the planet didn't end up proving exactly habitable, there was no plan to get you back up to the Flores. You were sent on a one-way trip. Yeah, they never told us that part, but it's not surprising. And shit. That explained why Maxwell was calling the green light no matter what. Anyway, I'd never heard hmm. the story. And it suddenly occurred to me, this Maxwell who called in the green light, he must have had a way to contact the Flores. An uplink. There had to be an uplink on this first drop pod, and if I could find it... And you did. Your briefcase. That's Maxwell's uplink in there, the world's last hope. <laughs> How fucking poetic. Hmm. And we wouldn't notice if we hadn't went to do the side quest. But the gates are closed. Clearly, someone else is back here. Woohoo! One, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Bonk. Hmm. Or maybe not. No. This is too easy. And really, did they really set their camp up above this? If it fell, you were sealed in. I suppose that's what they wanted, but they wanted a way out. There's also that door over there. If we don't open it, I'm going to be annoyed. Oh, that might be the way out. Hmm. Kind of place is kind of trashed. Jack Tanner's daughter, Sarah. Seems she took his place in leading what was left of the Outriders. She was one of the people oh. that fought back when the ECA had the Outriders court-martialed. She saved many Outriders' lives. But she disappeared after that, didn't leave a trace. Seems this bunker is where she ended up. Her last entry says she walked off into the forest in search of her husband and son. By herself? She could have been hoping to survive. None of us came into this hoping to survive. If anything... She died doing what the Outriders were meant to do, pushing into the unknown past the frontier, finishing her tour of duty on her feet, as the Outriders used to say. You bunch really did come from a different time. Again, the out this guy kind of holding on to the... Like I was saying before, him holding on to his humanity, he's really kind of embodying the philosophy of the Outriders, you know? But yeah, I didn't realize that was the Sarah, Sarah they're talking about. I did not realize.
Nathan Skurlock, private note, year 2190. It's been, ma it's been several years since founding of our enclave. There is a sense of peace as I walk past people going about their lives as much as there can be in this forest. Despite multiple precautions Kang has taken, it seems this stronghold we've built may turn out to have been somewhat unnecessary. Though it has served us well and given protection against the creatures that assail us, the unrest and riots that Kang feared not materialized. The community that has formed around the enclave continues to grow, without any sign of discontent that I can discern. It seems they all understand what must be done, how better their lives can be here. What concerns me presently is how we can keep our numbers high enough to stay in a flock of this size. News that the quarry is no longer in the hands of the ECA is troubling. What's even worse is that is rumored that the ECA has in fact abandoned the quarry entirely, and never intends to take it back. It, it is becoming too great a risk to venture out of these woods in search of fresh recruits. We used to be able to entice a few quarry workers back with us every, uh, now and then, and those numbers sufficed. But now, with the quarry overrun, with Inaki and Fauna, the journey to the civilized towns is exponentially larger and more dangerous. If any of my flock were somehow, to able, were somehow able to capture us, our fall was back to eat. If any of my flock were somehow able to capture us or throw us back to the Enclave, I fear that would be the end of the only safe haven that exists on Enoch. Ah, uh, if the people knew about what they were doing in the Enclave. Ah, uh, private journals. It's here, so... Now I have burn page. Uh, down to me now, the last outrider, guarding the gate to oblivion. Dad always said that men would only disappoint me, so better get used to always being the uh, one left to get the job done. Looks like he's right again. No sense waiting around anymore. My husband won't come back without her son, and I know Mercer resents us too much to ever return. I don't blame him. I won't come back either, but I have to face the fact that the sanctuary can't stay safe much longer. Before everyone left, every so often some random desperate scavenger would discover the hatch and try to shoot or carve their way through the door, until Sergio and I ran them off. But Sergio ain't here anymore, the rest so he faded off into the margins, and those scavengers are, are growing more desperate by the day. I know now the only way to protect what we've devoted our lives to is leave this place before it becomes my tomb, taking my key, the master key, and heading off to find Sergio and Mercer, and if I can't, he'll go so deep into the forest no one will ever, ever survive trying to come after me. I'm going, I'm going out like an outrider, and before I die, I'll make sure more of this damp. I'll, I'll, and before I die, I'll see more of this damned planet than every than any human ever has. Oblivion will have to be someone else's problem now. Yeah, so I was right. We are going to have to go out again. And she's probably in that one bit of force I didn't look into.
more ominous music here, and it's, it looks a little blooded misty, but yeah, it seems close enough. Not seen the quest. There we go. Well, this should be interesting. Might as well put my skills to good use. With the, with the colony thrown into chaos after the first storm struck the first city, some looked to take advantage of the situation and hoard essential supplies. Entire caches of medicine were stolen from the ECA, and Dominguez found himself in possession of large supply of iodine pills, which uh, meant to provide limited protection against radiation sickness. Dominguez, however, sold them to the black market, to, uh, in the black market to less informed citizens, claiming the pills would protect them against the anomalies, anomalies effects. When the forest's engine exploded and actual protection against radiation exposure became necessary, there were no more pills left. Left Dominguez was presumed uh, dead after the riots that struck the first city. His name lost among many other casualties at the times. That changed a few years ago when he merged, using an alias, acting as a surgeon for Corrigan. He murdered two senior officers at Trenchtown Bar over a bet. When his first appe uh, face appeared on the oh, on one of the posters, no acquaintance recognized him. The Hornet to disappeared into the forest on the run from Bailey, who was hunting him down. He, it appears he joined Skrullock's last expedition at the very last moment, then became one of Kang's subordinates once they settled in the forest. So, where am I going? Ah, so Kuda Camp, all the way over here. Are they really groovy when we fast traveling to it? Yeah. Here I thought the game would shit the bed over that. One sec. Uh, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Alright. How do you add? Cup of sugar?
Ooh, the legs were still trying to walk. Creepy. Also, thinking about it, did the guy even need to go so, you know, use so much? Like, actually kill people for the cure? If it was spinal fluid, couldn't he get donations? Like, uh, make them mandatory, you know? That people just gave donations. Like... Like, I'm sure there was a way of doing it that didn't demand he murder people. Okay, that's obnoxious. Don't uh, game devs, don't do that. Don't give a fucking half step as an ins half step as an insurmountable tank. It's a fucking half step. Hell yeah. No, oh, really? Mm -mm. Oh, if there's any notes or journals here, I don't believe we'll see them.
missing out. Sahidi. No, none too fun there. Oh yeah, I never did change you up. Oh no, you were fine as you were. I got blue blood, I'm fine. and the day cruel. I've had some visitors recently who left me rather worse for the wear. You look cold. Can I give you something? No, I was just... Nonsense! I have some warm broth in the pot. Let me get you a cup. These visitors, they giving you trouble? A young couple, deserters from the war. The young deer was pregnant. What could I do? Leave them out in the cold? No, I hid them from the authorities. I oh, the, the people that stole from them. From they always someone. Say, old Atta is too gentle for her own good. We heard about these earlier. Me. They took my ring, my pendant, the last things I had from Earth. Gifts from my dear late husband. I don't want them harmed. I, all I care about is what they stole. I would give everything I have in return. I'll do it, but yeah. Keep your clothes, miss. Just tell me where I can get a nice gun or something. Why not? 
I got nothing better to do. Okay, somewhere around here is a thief camp. Oh, I was thinking it would be that, but no, oh, it's in here. Dear Jessica, bad news, sis. The old witch out is on to us. There's nowhere safe for us here anymore. Not enough to do but run while we plan our next move. We're going out now to meet someone who says that they know how the guard is through the forest. It's the only way out. Gabe's certain that Corrigan's men aren't going to last here much longer against the insurgents. He says we need to get out before it's too late. If anyone asks you about where we are, tell them you haven't heard from us. And try to send word as soon as we've settled somewhere. Wish us luck. Heads for sale. Want to try the new blend? Call it the liver spinner. New blend, same as the old. Uh, personal space grants a fifteen percent bonus to close weapon damage, close range weapon damage. Stand tall. Uh, stand proud. Receive one hour to cover for more than five seconds. Power from ashes. Uh, that's nice. Healing size isn't bad. Stand tall. I'm torn between this and this. Uh, We'll go for this, because I'm mostly in melee. Okay, are you sure the wall's going to support all of these? That, also, where have I been carrying that? Better have cleaned that off. Uh, time blast? I've lost the bullets. That's nice, but not for me. Uh, using deals. Uh, hmm. Whenever your health drops below 10%, all your skill cooldowns are reduced by 50%. Nice. Blood potion. Critical shots towards enemies in close range. Afflicted with bleed. Increase your health regeneration by 95 for 5 seconds. Hmm, that's very specialized. Let's go with adrenaline. That'll do nicely. Oh, excuse me. Ah, I was wondering where it was. I'm not sure if this wall's gonna take it. With one funny end, the, the, it just co fucking collapses on the dude. Uh, 